Hello guys, what's up? This is Morteza and welcome to episode number two of this uh, Clean Code in C-Sharp series. Uh, in this episode, I want to talk about the first, you know, uh, way, the first technique to make our code clean. And in this regard, we are going to talk about, uh, you know, uh, comments. Uh, every now and then, we probably add comments to our code in order to, you know, explain a piece of code either for ourself, ourselves or for, you know, the uh, future programmers who will be maintaining the code. In order to, you know, talk about the different techni techniques that we are going through, uh, I, I will, you know, create different uh, projects in this solution. Here I've got a solution called Clean Code with, with the first, you know, project comments. And I will, of course, put uh, these, you know, projects into GitHub so that you can pull them and work with them yourself. Uh, no. Anyway, uh, here uh, in my, you know, project, in my comments project, I'm going to, you know, create a new class. I'm going to call this class person. And I'm going to, you know, make it public. Now, uh, a way uh, that people misuse comments or overuse comments is that they try mm -hmm. to add comments to every single piece of code or every single line in, for example, a piece of code. For example, here it is clear without any comments that I am creating a, you know, person class. So it is redundant to, for example, add a comment here and write down, this is a person class. If you do this, don't. If you, you know, add comments to every single uh, line, uh, or you know multiple lines for example in your code and you try to explain everything uh, this is redundant because as a programmer you know I know that this is okay a class and its name is person I do not need this comment to understand what it is happening here or for example suppose I add a constructor here and then I you know write okay this is a new constructor constructor for my for for this person class this is something that i uh, see a lot of times you know people do this and this is a bad practice you should be very you know uh, you should use comments uh, to a minimum level uh, and you know you you should uh, use them whenever uh, it makes sense for example for a, a chunk of you know code uh, that it is uh, which is which is really difficult to understand adding comments is justifiable makes sense but to add comments for every single line that doesn't make sense and something else about comments that i want to point out here is that comments usually get out of sync because you know you refactor your code so for example suppose after a while i decide uh, to change the name of this class for example i go okay this is not person let me make it individual right in d visual like this but i probably forget to update this you know uh comment or this one so what i'm trying to say is that this uh these comments you know they get out of sync we with the code so it is very important to regard comments as kind of a liability so it is your responsibility to maintain both the code as well as the comments so you need to be very you know uh careful about using comments do not do not overuse them do not add comments to every single line of code. And uh, if you do, uh, you know, the chances are they will get out of sync. And uh, comments uh, should be regarded, as I told you, as a responsibility. You are responsible for maintaining them. And try to use comments when, when, it, when, when they are justifiable. When, for example, you want to explain the function of uh, some lines of code, which are, you know, which are difficult to understand. Uh, in those cases, adding comments uh, is justifiable, but for every single line of code, I don't, I don't think so. So this is uh, something I wanted to tell you about uh, using comments. Something else that I see from time to time uh, when people, you know, use comments is that they, uh, they write down why, for example, uh, there has been a change in this, for example, class. For example, you saw this class was, you know, uh, called person and I changed it to individual. So some people come here and say, okay, right now I need to add a comment and explain why there was, you know, a piece of refactoring in this uh, 
class. So they go, uh, mm, uh, this class was changed from person to individual and so on and so forth. Again, that doesn't make sense. Your source control system, like Git, for example, should be responsible because you know in Git, when you want to commit a change, you can add comments, you can add messages as they are called. So those, uh, you know, are responsible to for, for identifying why uh, there was a change in, for example, this person class. You shouldn't add comments, you know, to explain why this class was changed. Another uh, thing worth, worth mentioning about comments is that comments are sometimes not necessary if you refactor your code. For example, here, suppose uh, I have this, you know, uh, let me change it to person one more time. And here, suppose I want to calculate the age of this person. So I've got a, you know, class, let's say public, uh, mm, I've got a method, public uh, calculate, for example, calculate. And then uh, it is going to return an int. And in the input, I'm going to take daytime, my date, right? Okay. Now, bear with me. And in, in this, you know, code, I write down something, you know, to calculate the age of that person. And then here I add a comment and I say, okay, this method uh, calculates the age of a person. Why do I need to add this comment? Because uh, I didn't uh, take the time to make this code clean. Because when you look at this method uh, instantly, you cannot, you know, recognize what what this code is doing. Because I, I I didn't choose a descriptive name for my parameter or for my method, you know. So that's why I I needed. I was you know forced to add this comment. So it is better to you know remove this comment and to refactor this code. How? For example, I can you know choose a much more descriptive name for my parameter. This is the birth date of that per person, right? This is the birthday, and based on, based on the birth, birth date, and you know my current date time, I calculate the age of that person. So instead of my date, which is very ambiguous, which is very vague, so I can go and I say, you know, this is the date of birth, or birth date, right? And instead of, for example, saying calculate, which is very vague, so calculate what? This is just calculate. Calculate what? What what are we calculating here? I can say, okay, calculate uh, age. This uh, is more, you know, descriptive, more meaningful, more clean, cleaner. And uh, by, by making this refactoring to my code, I do not need these comments anymore. So what I'm trying to say here is that whenever you add comments to your code, you know, just wait a second, take a look at your code and see if it is possible to refactor your code to make it cleaner, to make to make it more, you know, descriptive by adding, you know, more meaningful names for your parameters, your variables, or, you know, your methods or even your class. And this will probably help you to, you know, get rid of that comments, that comment. And the last thing I want to point out about comments, and I think and I believe that we all have done it, at least I have done it a lot, is to add, as they are sometimes called, zombie code into your, you know, code base. Zombie code are, are the codes which are commented out. You know, for example, suppose in this calculate age, I have, let's say, uh, I declare uh, like a uh, time set time span and then I'm gonna you know declare an integer value my current age and uh, you come across this code but this code is you know commented out and you're not sure whether you're gonna need it in the future or you're probably uh, not going to need it. So this is sometimes called zombie code. Uh, it's a piece of code that you come across and you're not sure about. You do not know whether to delete it or to keep it, why it was you know commented out in the first place, 
we, we should take care to get rid of these uh, you know pieces of code as quickly as possible when you commit your changes to your source control it is it is uh, the it, it is a good idea to get rid of these codes uh, because you know uh, if, if they remain in your code base uh, it will make it uh, very difficult for a programmer to maintain that code or to you know uh, to be sure whether that code belongs uh, belongs in here or it should be deleted. So uh, take care to you know uh, make sure whether you're gonna you know need this code or not. Uh, of course, your uh, version control system like Git can help you restore your code, your source files to you know a prior state to a previous state. So these are useless. I mean, if you want to uh, get to a piece of code that you deleted in the past. You can use your git commands and uh, that would you know suffice so it doesn't make sense to have these pieces of code here in your code files so this was just uh, some of the you know uh, ways that people uh, uh, misuse comments adding comments to every single line uh, and this uh, is probably a bad thing to do because uh, you will be responsible for maintaining the comments as well as the code it makes it very difficult to uh, go through your code and also uh, we talked about you know the fact that sometimes adding comments uh, we, we add comments to explain a code which is which is dirty so uh, we should you know a step back and we should take a look at the code and see if we can refactor the code to make it cleaner and then get, get rid of that comment and the last thing that I talked about was zombie code as they are called these are dead codes they, they are here but we're not sure whether we're going to need them or not. So it is better to get rid of them to, uh, you know, be sure whether they belong here or they should be deleted. Uh, thank you. Uh, that was all. I, I think I might, uh, you know, want to talk a little, about, a little about, you know, comments in the upcoming videos as well. Just stay tuned. If you haven't, you know, subscribe to my channel, please do and share this video with your friends and uh, click on that notification bell uh, so that you do not miss out on my upcoming videos and i hope you've, in, you've enjoyed this video and uh, we will talk in my next video uh, probably about comments a little bit thank you guys take care till later and bye bye